Let's count them. One, Two, three, three four. four. Now let's color our sticks, okay? Hey, I'm Rachel Hockett, and I play the teddy bear on the Mother Goose Club. In real life, I'm a mom to two kids, Olivia and Briley. We love doing holiday crafts like this twinkling star. It's a super easy craft that's fun and educational for kids. In this video, I'd love to show you how to make one. Okay, for this craft, you will need craft sticks. You'll need some glue, you'll need some markers, some string if you wanna hang it up, and you'll need some decorations. Now your decorations can be anything that'll glue nicely to the sticks. We've got some big sequins here we're gonna use for ours. And you can get all of your craft supplies at your local craft store or online. Now be careful if you're using sequins or small decorations if you have young children, because my son tries to eat them, so watch out for that. Crafting is really fantastic for kids because when they're doing crafts, they're working their finger muscles. And those finger muscles prepare their little fingers to hold a pencil and write, which is a very important skill for when they go to school. Okay, we're ready to craft. Now, the first step is to pick your shape. You can glue four sticks together to make a starburst star, or you can glue five sticks together to make a five point star, or you can glue six sticks together to make a Star of David. I'm gonna make a starburst, so I'll take four. Next, I'm gonna color my sticks yellow, my favorite color. Now, younger kids might get tired after coloring for a few minutes, and that's totally okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. That is the charm of kids' artwork. You can help your child finish their craft if they ask you, or you can just let it be. Next, glue the craft sticks in the shape that you want. You can do this step for your kids if they're too little. Then, set it aside to dry for a good 10 minutes. Now, it's time to decorate. For younger kids, you may need to do the craft for them up to this point, so all they have to do is glue on a few decorations. Just squeeze drops of glue and add the decorations. Steps like this help to build your child's fine motor skills. Those are the muscle movements that help little fingers pinch, pull, poke, and sort. All done. Now let the decorations get good and dry. And here's a quick tip. While you're waiting for your glue to dry, you can boost your child's learning by asking questions and talking about the craft. Every bit of conversation you have with your child will help your child learn new words and practice talking. Some good crafty questions are, what color is this? Or, what shape is that? Or, how does the glue feel? And also, how many sequins are on that stick? Finally, if you want to hang your star, just glue a loop of string to the back. Now, take a look at how this craft went for me and my kids. Let's pick out four sticks, okay? So we're gonna make a star bus. One, two, two three, four. four! Good job! Now let's color our sticks, okay? A, B, C. What color do you want to color yours, Bradley? You want to color this? Good job! That's wonderful, and I love the color you're choosing. Mommy, look. Oh, that's so beautiful! It kind of looks like the colors that are on an American flag. See? Red and blue. A star! Very good! Before you glue the sequin, baby, we're going to actually glue the sticks together. There you go. And then wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. One more drop of glue. Thank you. Good job. Thank you for sharing. Olivia? I love it! Can you find me a star shape sequin? Give me, give mommy a star. <gasps> oh my goodness! They're so good! They're so good! <laughs> <laughs> I want you to pick all of them, like... Like all the way across? Okay. okay. Like all the way across from here. So there, so there, so there, so there. Swingle, swingle.
kids loved doing that craft. And I love knowing that they got a chance to work with their fingers, that they use their fine motor skills, and that we had a chance to talk. So give our Twinkling Star craft a try and show me how it goes. <laughs> Let's take a look at some photos and videos from families who tried this craft. so great. Thank you to all our families who sent in photos and videos. You can send yours on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Want more starry action? Watch our other Twinkle videos and hit us up with questions or anything in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our next video. All right, craft stars, start decorating and we'll see you soon. You may need to do the craft up to this. Next, you glue the sticks together. That's wonderful, and I love the color you're choosing. You can choose. It's a popsicle stick. No, we don't have any popsicles. It's a stick. It's a popsicle stick. Okay. <laughs> Those are the finger movements that help children learn to pull. This is blue. Let's glue it on your star. Hey, 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 Riley. <sighs> but is this blue? No. Yes, it is. Hair, poke their brother. Wait, Riley, are you Hi. eating the sequins? Super. Riley, give it to mommy. Give it to mommy. Thank you. Okay. All right, now. Is anybody home? Yes, come visit us. Hi, I would love to come visit you. What a lovely house you have. Hi, I'm Sarah, and these are my kids, Rachel and Benjamin. Have you ever noticed that kids love to play with cardboard boxes? Well, it turns out that cardboard boxes are not only fun, they're also great for developing brains. I'll show you how. Boxes are great for growing minds and muscles. Just set the box out and let your kids go to town. Their imaginations will take them away. Are we at a restaurant? Yes, we are at a restaurant. Yes, mommy, so you can take mommy's mommy, order. Mommy, what you want to eat? Mommy, I would like to mommy, eat a hamburger no, no, and some come fries, come please. Come. Boxes offer more than fun. For one, they're comforting. The space inside makes kids feel safe kind of like how babies like to be wrapped up. Plus, box play teaches kids spatial awareness, which is the understanding of your body in space. Spatial awareness is so important for all movement, but also for social skills. Cardboard boxes give kids a lot of power. It's like a whole room that they can do whatever they want with. When kids imagine a box into different things or move it from one place to another, they develop independence. They feel powerful and learn that they can do things and solve problems by themselves. Good job! Can you give me five? Give me five, you did it! <laughs> a box is basic. No batteries, no sound effects. 100% of the play comes from the kid's imagination. That means that cardboard boxes are imagination superchargers. Beep, beep, beep. Good driving. Woo! Almost there. You'll be amazed at what kids see in a simple cardboard box. It can be a spaceship, a house, a cave, a bus, or even a drive through restaurant. It's a great art opportunity too. Kids love to color and transform boxes. So save those boxes, 
A cardboard box is many toys in one, and it's a great boost for growing minds and bodies. Help us and other Mother Goose Club families by sharing how your kids play with boxes. Just hashtag pictures and videos with Mother Goose Club and type your play tips into the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Thanks for watching and happy playing. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cardboard <laughs> box. Cardboard. And let your kids t <laughs> boxes. They did fell. <laughs> let me tell you about cardboard boxes. <laughs> It can be a spaceship. I need water, y'all. And other Mother Goose Club. <laughs> or comment or type your play tips. Type your play tips. <laughs> or type your comment. <laughs> or type your play tips in the comments section. Oh. <laughs> it's a great art opportunity, too. <laughs> Imagination. <laughs> And this is the parents' happy dance for no batteries and no sound effects. <laughs>
Mother's Craft at home and let us know how it goes with a photo or video tagged Mother Goose Club or leave comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for other crafts, tips, activities, and more. Bye! <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> From there? Okay. Okay. <laughs>